Eileen, it is a party out here, and what great weather for this party today. The first Brazilian Street Day Festival is taking place in Sacramento. Check this out here. Look at all of the color and the artistic um, creativity going on here this morning. Rashani Dantas, coordinator for Brazilian Day, joining us. Thank you so much for being here. This is a big deal. Yes, first it is. time in Sacramento. When yes. I think of Brazil and celebration, I think of Carnival. Is that kind of what we can expect to see exactly today so you're going to see a lot of music you're going to see a lot of dancing beautiful costumes a lot of excitement because brazil is excitement so that's what we're going to see a lot of today what is this dance going on here right now this is called capoeira this is one of the oldest art forms in brazil it, it's full of music it's full of dance acrobatics and it's essential to what brazilian culture is what is what does it mean what do their moves mean because i see a little bit of maybe street fighting going on as well right so what it is it's like a question and answer with acrobatics. Wow. So each person does a question, the other person answers, and they have to do, be creative as possible to answer that question. And what is the instrument being played? It's called a beating bow. Beating bow. Yes, and that's part of what makes Capoeira dance, is that music element. So we have the beating bow there, which is made out of an old tree in Brazil called Biriba. Oh. My kids just watched the movie Rio last night, so I'm looking at Lavinia's costume and thinking again of, uh, of um, Carnival. Mention the costumes. I expect we're going to see a lot of color yes. and flavor out exactly. there today. Exactly. Beautiful costume. This is a fantasia costume. So fantasia is normally can be anything that makes a make basically the dance beautiful of samba. So you see, she's got a beautiful headdress on the piece, the top, and then so anything that you can add to make to the beauty of the dance, and that's what the fantasia is. I was reading that part of the goal for a Br Brazilian day is to get the youth involved. Exactly. Tell me what the whole uh, pitch is to do that and the need to do that. Exactly. What we're trying to do is we're going to have a youth workshop that's going to include music and capoeira to teach young kids how to start to get involved in it. So they're going to learn from an artist, a very renowned artist called Gamu da Paz. He's going to be teaching them various rhythms and we're going to have a section for kids just to come and try all the Brazilian instruments so they can come informally, play on the drums, play the different instruments. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But I know that it's not just about Brazilian culture, right? You guys are welcoming in a bunch of other cultures exactly. as well. Exactly. So we're going to be having embastic Mexican flo folkloric dance also perform as part of the festival. So yeah, we, we really want to make sure Brazil is, is a diversity of culture also. So we work with a lot of other cultures as well. There's got to be some great food too. Oh yeah, there's going to be some good food there also. So <laughs> it's a good, and a great drink called Caipirinha, Brazilian drink called Caipirinha. It's going to be sold by a Zul Mexican restaurant. Definitely have to check that out. Let's give our viewers some information. The event is taking place today from 11 to 8, Midtown Sacramento, 20th Street between J and K Street, and it is all free. As you can see, there's a lot to take part of. This is going to be really exciting. You guys hoping that this is going to be so big you'll be able to do it year after year? Yes. It took a lot to be able to do this first one, and we really want to make Sacramento a destination location for Street Festival Brazil, so Independence Day Brazil here in the street. So our first year, and we want to we want to do it from year on out. Because there is a big Brazilian community oh, yeah. in Sacramento There is well. a huge Brazilian community. So Brazilian Day is a celebration of independence, and it is held in cities across the U.S. also. Yeah, that's so, cool, too. Yeah. Very nice. All right, Rashani Dantes, coordinator for Brazilian Day, and also your group here. The name of your group again? It's called Centro Tabcat. Our director is Mestre Caboclo Aruanda. He is responsible for all the artistry, the vision for Brazilian Day as a native of Salvador, Brazil. Wow, sounds good. You can expect to see a lot more today. Again, go out to Midtown, just hit the farmer's market first, and then you'll see all of this festivity going on celebrating Brazil. And keep it right here. More is coming up our 8 o'clock hour.